Hello my darlings, it's finally the holidays and I love this time of year because I love to customize my decoration. I'm ALB and I am so excited because the holidays are finally here and the best part about the holidays is customizing all your decorations. Today we're gonna to be doing a DIY using potatoes. We're gonna be doing potato stamp stockings. You can use this method to do wine bags, tote bags, anything that you wanna customize. Here's what you're gonna need. Plain cotton, craft paper or newspapers, green printing ink in color of your choice, a stocking template. Now we have one on our website at cbc.ca that you can print out and trace. The most exciting part of this project is the potatoes, some fun faux fur, a plate to put your screen printing ink on, a ink roller, some sewing pins, our handy dandy sewing machine, and lastly, you will need a iron. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is cut out your stocking template from your cotton. You're gonna need two of these so that we can sew them together to make a stocking you can actually put stuff in. The next step is uh, the most fun part because you get to carve your little potato carefully using a knife. I'm gonna cut my potato right in half and then I have two beautiful potato pieces. If it's easier for you, you can draw your design on here. And what should you draw? You can do anything. Some people would like to do initials, so you can have like a personalized stamp with your initials on it. I'm gonna do a little sparkle today because I think that's kind of pretty. The best part about this is if you mess up, you have another half of a potato. <laughs> so once you kind of have an approximate shape carved out, you kind of just need to take off some layers so that your shape stands out so it actually becomes a stamp and like the more you practice at doing something like this you can do more detailed designs you know there we go all done so this is my little finished shape and i really like it it's simple we're gonna lay out some craft paper so we don't make a huge obnoxious mess so i'm just gonna take my plate here and put it accessible to my stockings and then i'm gonna take my uh screen printing fabric ink and put a big old dollop right on the plate. Now I'm gonna take my roller and I'm going to basically roll the ink out to be covering my roller completely. We're going to cover the potato stamp evenly with ink. This is the best part, the most fun part. I'm just gonna start stamping. And every single time that you stamp your potato onto your item, just recode it with the roller again so that every stamp is perfect. And then we peel it away. <gasps> It's beautiful. Ah, perfect. So when they are completely dry, you get to move on to the next step. You're gonna be ironing to heat set your print. So just take some scrap paper and just lay it on top of your dry stocking and put the iron on top of that to heat set. All right, so for the next step, we need to grab our little sewing pins and I'm going to prepare our stocking to be sewn. So we're gonna take our stockings and pin them good side together. Remember to leave the very top of the stocking open. So we're almost there, next is sewing. So I'm gonna grab my sewing machine and this part's pretty easy, you're just going to sew all around the edge, taking the pins out as you go. All right, let's see this. So when you're done, it looks like this. It's not so cute, but when we turn it inside out, you have a cute little stocking like this. It looks so great, but you know what would make it even better is a little bit of faux fur right on the trim here at the top. And here we are, our finished stocking. Ugh, I just love how it turned out. I love the faux fur. I love the design because it's like I designed it. These make really awesome personalized gifts and they're so fun to make. So for the full step-by-step -step tutorial, go on over to cbc.ca slash life. That's all from me. Happy holidays.